If you're a small business owner, you know, R&D is just the name of the game. Testing, testing, testing. But did you know that you should be tracking all of those expenses, your wax, your wick, vessels, because you're not going to be selling your test vessels. You need to save all of those costs because at the end of the year, when you go to see Mr. Taxman, they are a write-off for your R&D. And as candle makers, we are always in R&D, especially when we're doing new oils, like for the fall season or the spring season, we have to test all of those oils with our wicks in our wax to make sure they're ready to go. So today, we're gonna to be doing wick testing. Now, I'm gonna be pouring a bunch of different vessels so we can do the wicks at the same time and then um, I'll be dedicating one. I'm gonna swap them out and show you. I'm gonna be testing CD wicks today and 444 wax, and I'm also gonna be testing the Premier wicks in my 444 wax. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you side-by-side -side different wicks for the same vessel, and I'm gonna be showing you what's working, what's not, what to be looking for, when to call it quits, and when to just be a little patient and wait a little bit longer. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Carrie. I'm the owner and maker of Couture Home and Body. I've been making candles since 2019. I absolutely love it. And so on this channel, you're gonna see a lot of videos where I do first impressions of fragrance oils, dupe fragrance oils, small business tips, supplies, everything. It runs the gamut. So be sure to check out all of my playlists here if you're new. All right, we are gonna test five wicks and I'm going from the smallest here to the largest. So I'm just gonna zoom in. Uh, we're gonna do a CD10, a CD14, a CD20, UltraCore 2.775, and an UltraCore 2.9. We're gonna be using the fragrance library. Just one, I'm not gonna do a blend or anything, but I know how the oil works, so that way there aren't any new variables. All right, let's make some candles. I let these candles cure for a full two weeks before starting this test. All right, I went to the second hour here. You can see that the CD10, it's a little small. The CD14, a little bit of a mushroom. Keep an eye on it. The 20, pretty steady. Not too bad, almost got a full melt pool though. The 2.9, that is burning really hot. Look at that mushroom, oh boy, dang. And then the 2.775 Ultra Core, Starting to get that crazy little mushroom. So this is the CD10. Didn't quite reach a full melt pool. With soy, you do want it to reach a full melt pool. So it's about uh, an inch per hour. It does look a little bit small. All right, the CD14. This looks good. Also, the air conditioning went on. That could have affected it. So the CD14 is definitely a good candidate. All right, the CD20, we are at a full melt pool and it's already burning down. We can see that this is obviously too big. Oof, this ultra koi is burning super hot. Look at that. The jar isn't hot, but that flame is crazy. <laughs> and then the other ultra core, the 2775. I just don't love the mushroom on that, and it's a huge flame. It does look like it burned okay. Um, this would work uh, because it doesn't have quite, I think it's like less than a quarter inch of wax melted there. So you want about a half inch. That's like the safe spot. All right, and here we are just at the four hour mark. So we have the CD10 here. It is too small. The 14, looking good. So we will do another burn test. All right, we are doing a second burn. Even though I know these are not the right wicks, we're gonna test them just for this video and just to kind of show you what happens. All right, we are at the one hour mark. Just gonna do a check-in again. There's the 10. This is the 14. This is the 20. 
This is the UltraCore 2.9. The air did just turn on, so the wick is a little flicky over here. And then this is the 2775. All right, we are at hour two. Let's take a look here. CD10, CD14, CD20. We have the UltraCore wicks. You can see that the 10 is just continuing to tunnel here. Then you have the 14, the 20. It's a really tall flame, but it's nice and steady. The UltraCore. All right, we are at hour four of our second burn. All right, CD10, just a epic fail there. Here we have the CD14. All right, the CD20. So it's not even at a half inch melt pool. I don't know if you can see. Quarter inch, so this one, look at that ridiculous mushroom. He needs to relax. At the 2.775 Ultra Core, it's a real steady flame. It's a bit tall. Our flame is about an inch and a half. This is the CD14. I do think my wick is off center, just like the ever littlest bit. But it's looking good. It's catching up real nice. You can see here, it's looking good. Outside jar temp, the CD14 was 118. The CD20 had an outside jar temp of 121, and that's looking good. I still, I don't think it's necessary for this now that we're here at this this far in the burn. I think the 20 is big. I don't think we need to use that. The Ultra Core 2.9. Tisk tisk, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> This jar was so hot. It was 138, but honestly, it was, it's so dang hot. You can see it is completely sooting all over. It was emitting a lot of soot, so. I'm gonna discontinue burning this one. We know it's a fail. That is the 2.9 uh, Ultra Core. Let's go over to the other Ultra Core. This is the 2.775. This had an outside temp of 120, so very similar to the 14 and the 20, just by a couple degrees. So as you can see here, there is a little bit of hang up around the jaw. That is a perfect burn. The mushroom, it's burning a little hot. It doesn't have to have all of the wax completely melted off. We've got the 2.9 is out and the 10 is out. We're now down to the 14, the 20, and the 2775. This is the point where I think it would be okay to make a decision that um, the 20 is obviously burning hot. I still am going to finish it because I want to see how many hours it is, but I think the 14 is the best one, and I'm going to show you why. We're going to look at how the wax has melted internally. So you can see here, this has about a quarter inch of wax. That's really good. This one here has a little bit, same thing, quarter inch. Whereas this one, it's only got, I'd say an, a maybe an eighth of an inch. Um, the reason why I like this is because it's burning evenly. The top isn't too melted. See how that wax is more dense here versus these guys? As you can see, it's hard too because it's gold inside, but just so you can kind of see the wax. This is the most opaque, so it's burning cooler. it's bending this way so it's not going to get any burn time over here so I'm gonna blow this out it's been just uh, about two hours and 
we're going to swap out another. Trying a different burn test, trying a different wick. Okay, we are just past the four hour mock. It's burning really well, the hot throw is good, but it looks like because of the curl, it's not hitting the other side. So I'm super curious to see what another burn would do and if that would catch up. I'm hesitant to swap out this wick. I want to give it another shot. I'm going to blow this out and then let it harden up and then we'll see if it catches up. I'm not going to heat gun it or anything. So you can see how the wick is curled to one side. Um, it's super interesting and it didn't mushroom at all. That's that's one of the features I really like about this wick series. I trim the wick. You can see that it's tunneled a little bit here. Let's go ahead and light her up and let's check back in a couple hours and see if that doesn't correct itself. All right, I was trying to give this wick the benefit of the doubt, but it looks like it's too small. We'll try one more size. We're gonna try the 780s. We're at about three and a half hours. This one is performing a lot better. I think the thing I don't like about the premieres is that they curl. And then it just seems like they're, I'm not getting an even burn. Um, the jar is barely warm. It's not hot or anything. The hot throw is good. I don't think it's better than my CD. So I think I'm gonna pass on these wicks for sure. But it's always fun to test something different. Okay, and this is the CD12. It's been going for about three and a half hours. It is almost at a full melt pool here. We're past the midway point in the jaw. It's warm, but it's not hot. You can see I'm holding it, no problem. I'm like squeezing it. <laughs> this is burning perfectly. I'm going to get my gun and I'll show you how hot it is. So I'm taking my heat gun here. One twelve. It's always good to do like three different readings. And this is 109.6. Sorry, it's a little glary. 113. So yeah, it is burning nice and beautifully. Not too hot because it is past the halfway point in the jaw, but we've almost got a full melt pole. So in about 30 minutes, That'll be fully melted and it's burning beautifully. I do want to mention that when I am using scents, like it's fall time right now. And so the cinnamon scent, I do have to wick up to a 14 because cinnamon is a beast to wick. Right, and there we are. There's the four hour burn right here. Pretty good, pretty good. 114.